Hey, Vinyl Community, Jeff here again, and it is time to look at some recent price drop grabs, snags, pouncing that I did. Um, and these actually are a uh, combination of Walmart and Amazon. Now, I don't usually, I rarely ever go to Walmart unless somebody tells me, hey, there's a vinyl sale, I'll go there. But my wife really doesn't like the place. We haven't shopped there really. I only go there rarely. I don't do much on walmart.com, again, unless there's records, but I really don't spend much time looking there. Now, I do use, aside from the one thing that I use that monitors my Amazon, my app, my uh, my browser also has the Honey uh, extension added on, so it helps compare prices and stuff. And so it notified me the other day, which I don't even know if I ever get many notifications or very pay very much attention to it, but it notified me, popped up and said, that this particular album was on sale at Walmart and there was like a under $3, $2 and change, $2.40, I don't know, some kind of a cash back that Honey gives you if you buy it within the time frame, uh, which would have been like within a day or two of that time. And what they do is if you buy it and, it, and, you, and you get it, then Honey will give you the money back as a rebate in your PayPal account. So... I never really have taken much advantage of that, but I saw that and I thought, well, that'd be a good album to have. It's already on sale, and I'm going to get another $2.30.40 off. So I went over there and looked, and for the first time in a long time, looked through the records on uh, Walmart and found a couple that I thought, you know, to buy some inexpensive stuff. Anyway, the uh, Earth Rocker from Clutch was the one that popped up for around $16.00. And I'm like, okay, um, I don't have a lot of clutch, and it's all Aaron's fault that I have any clutch. And <laughs> um, I have like three albums now, but, you know, I don't have this one. So for $16, I said, okay, and for $2 back, so it's going to be co it's gonna cost somewhere just over $13 when it's said and done. Brand new album. I went ahead and jumped on that. You know, this is a, uh, no, there's nothing, you know, whatever, fairly recent, one of the more recent albums, I guess. Uh, and so I went ahead and did that. Like I said, then I started scanning through and I found a couple others that, you know, again, were on pretty drastic sale. So Believe by Disturbed was $11, $11. And I thought, you know, I only have one Disturbed album. I dig them. I needed to grab this. And so for $11, I grabbed it. Um, and these are, you know, this one, this one actually came with a little bend on it, but eh, that's neither here nor there. Um, yeah, so eleven dollars. So now I have two. The other, <laughs> I'm not. I'm, I'm not a huge Disturbed fan. I don't go out of my way to buy their stuff. But the first album I bought was their more recent album from like two years ago, and that's because the record store locally, I guess, had too much overstock, and they marked it down to like ten dollars, and I grabbed it. All right. So the third one I bought as a novelty it was kind of neat. I don't have anything by this band, and even though I am on the lookout for it, and I know they've released a lot of stuff recently. Um, you know, I never really listened to much of them in the past, but I knew that I wanted to eventually get some of their stuff. But um, Kiss of Death by Pretty Boy Floyd um, was was in that mix, too. And uh, actually, this one, those were the two that came from Walmart. And this one came from Amazon. So this one dropped down. I think when I looked it up, it was, again, I think this one was in the like $11 range. It's a new one. It's on the, you know, Cleopatra uh, Deadline Records. It's on purple, uh, purple thing. And so it's a fairly new issue, but for, it was like half price on Amazon. I'm not as familiar. I think I've heard their first major album, uh, but this one is actually them doing an entire album cover tunes of Kiss. So that's why it's called Kiss of Death. So they do all kinds of, of things on here. Um, you know, I just kiss King of the Nighttime World. I stole your love. Shout it out loud. I mean, lo I love it loud. Going Blind, Deuce, Detroit Rock City, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But honestly, <laughs> as a big Kiss fan, I mean, it's fun. It's kind of fun. But I'm not real super keen on the singer's voice. And it's really kind of high and squeaky, which I know a lot of 80s bands are like that. But this one kind of... I have to give it more listens. I it just it didn't set right with me. I'm like, yeah, it's, that's kind of and songs that I really love. I'm just like, eh, it kind of came off as slightly annoying. So maybe it was just me, and you know, I need to check it out further. So, um, and and all of these these have been 
these have come in over the past days. It's not like these were all one order. This is just a combination of things I picked up recently. This one was great. I was surprised the price again like dropped in half. And that's the new one, the Hallowed from Jag Panzer. I have a lot of Jag Panzer I, stuff on CD in the past, digital. I have the most recent reissue of one of their albums on vinyl that was put out as a limited run vinyl, but hadn't really picked up a lot of their stuff. I love their classic stuff. Hadn't really paid much attention to their newer stuff. So um, I gave it a quick listen online. I said, yeah, this one was actually like $15, $16, and it's a new release, and it's a two record set. It's on Atomic Fire. It's on Blue. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's just one of those things where they drop the price to, you know, a real reasonable price, which I think is great. Um, let's see, it's a gatefold, typical band in the middle. Yeah. So I'm like, well, that's, that's great for the price. Uh, there was nothing wrong with it. It wasn't, yeah, there was nothing wrong with that when it was just, uh, listed as, you know, it was like a price drop. Again, you know, they do that. I do that. I watch things on Amazon and I had it in my wish list. I knew that one day I might want to get it if the price dropped and it did and I grabbed it. So the new Jack Panzer and I've listened to it. It's, it's really good. Uh, I really enjoyed their old stuff, but I have not listened as much to a lot of the newer stuff and they, they haven't lost it. They sound the same. This one is the fun one in the sense that, again, this is one of the ones where they drop it and they say it's like new, but we noticed something during inspection and when they say that, if as long as they don't say any marks on the actual disc, when they say that something cosmetic was noticed in inspection, I know that it typically means a crease or something. There's something, a bend or something that they can't sell it as new. Um, this one dropped way down like to $15 uh, because of that. And I've had them on my wish list for a while and, and it's a toss up between getting this, which I knew I would do, or getting an original copy of the non-remixed uh, remastered I mean album um, and that's Turbo by Judas Priest I'm like yeah and so I got it and you know what the issue the issue was with this album <laughs> nothing except the shrink wrap right along the bottom the shrink wrap was just torn a little bit and peeled back a little bit that's it no creases no dents no dings no folds brand new album the shrink wrap had just split right there and was just a little bit off on the corner. So I'm like, all right, you know, so uh, thank you, Amazon, for digging that as being, you know, slightly damaged. But uh, so, yeah, so the price dropped and, it, you know, I got it for like 15 under $16 when it all said and done. So there you go. One day, you know, I'd like to see, this is the 30th anniversary reissue. And so if I ever find an original, probably might end up picking that up too, just to have it. But that was great. Again, nice score for a nice price. I've had it on my wish list forever, just waiting for the price to drop. And there it is. And I pounced. Anyway, fun stuff. That's it for this one though. Thanks a lot for watching. See you later. Rock on and rock hard.